Now we see that nice wrist. Look at the control that Chongo Bronson has using both hands. Bending that wrist in an awkward position. It's not supposed to bend like that. It's making it look easy. Now Chongo Bronson directing now. Right. We know he is the, uh, the meister of the madhouse. Now he's the director. What a nice get out of there by Zim Damascus. Zim Damascus not backing down. Oh, backed up a little there, though. Absolutely. Like you said, neither man is going to back up in this contest. Both men, great pure strikers. C.J. Pricefield, though, tell them you've got this. you got to wonder if that's strategy on Pricefield or if he's just scared of Chango Bronson. Well, <laughs> could you blame him? Absolutely not. I'm scared of Chango Bronson. He likes me. There you see a tag in to the black and yellow of the boss. We've seen this before. That clever Lang. And the strength of the final boss. This is not where Zim Damascus wants to be. Absolutely not, but you gotta wonder what C.J. Pricefield is thinking on the outside. Not really coming to the aid of his tag partner. Well, here we go. We see it, the prettiest elbow in RMP. Goes for the cover one, two. There's Pricefield getting in the ring, but a little slow on the, on the save there by Pricefield. Not in a hurry to get his hands dirty tonight. Oh, he looked for the tag there, missed it. Bruce Wayne sends him back into the corner. Now a tag into Chongo Bronson. They do have that five count to play here. We see Chongo whipping Bruce Wayne's right into Zim Damascus in the corner. It's gonna send him into Chongo, who takes his head off with a lariat. And it's interesting to see that as, as unorthodox and different as Chongo Bronson, and Bruce Wayans are, there's a lot of continuity in this team. They're really working well together and starting to pick up some big wins. Absolutely. Now we go attacking the C.J. Pricefield. But look at this, backing off of Bruce Wayans now. C.J. Pricefield looks like he may have uh, messed up the tie of Bruce Wayans. Oh, he's now asking him to fix the tie. What a nice guy. Aha! Uh, Bruce Wayne should have known better than that. Now why? Exactly. Why would you fall for that, Bruce? Now we see CJ Pricefield keeping.